Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video we are going to talk about browser coding round. This is the second video on this series. If you haven't watched the first one, go ahead and watch that first then and in that video we have discussed how we'll be proceeding with this series uh, and in this video we are going to discuss about browser coding round. So we were going to divide this uh, video in two parts. One is we'll be discussing what is browser coding round and what it is all about and in second part we'll be discussing what are the type of question that is asked so i prepared some material to give you an overview like what type of question is asked and things like that so again like uh, before moving the disclaimer uh, coding rounds or you know browser coding or machine coding or js coding are highly dependent on the companies but in this series we are gonna uh, make it you know a general kind general thing uh, around the uh, that rounds so that you know you'll have an idea like what are the count rounds are there some company asks for all the rounds some company don't ask for all the rounds right it, there could be a subset of rounds that are asked in a company so we are going to cover all the rounds in this series and it could be uh, like you know present in your uh, interview rounds or not right so moving ahead like let's talk about what is a browser coding round so browser coding round is a round uh, usually known as telephonic round or you know html css javascript round or sometimes known as machine coding round as well but in this series we are not, we are going to separate the machine coding round and the browser coding round because there is a little bit difference sometimes similar as well but in this video uh, in this series we are going to separate that so browser coding round could be your first uh, round that it conducted uh, when your interview is starting. So it is also known as HTML, CSS and JavaScript round where you will be given a small problem statement, very small, uh, building a component or simple component, right? So you have to build that in front of your interviewer or it could be an online assessment test as well. So it will be a face to face round and it could be an online assessment test as well. So what will happen is you will be given a problem statement. Uh, a component to build and you have to build the entire component and you have to come with everything be the uh, requirements or you know questions around that component or anything like that sort after that in browser coding round it usually uh, building a simple component and that's done but there could be other things as well that could be involved in the browser coding round uh, like you know you could be asked a simple javascript question like uh, what is promises what is event loop what is debouncing or throttling right there could be asked a simple uh, css question as well like you know uh, what is z index do or you know what is a flex box right so uh, there could be more questions on JavaScript and HTML combination like, you know, uh, how do you, you know, asynchronously load this script or, you know, how you, how you defer a, a script loading with HTML. So this is how it differs. So mostly preparation comes in terms of, you know, uh, building simple component using HTML, HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So main thing is in the HTML, like learn Flexbox and, you know, simple, uh, you know, uh, gridding techniques uh, so that you can you know, build a layout kind of thing whenever you are given it so and uh, javascript knowledge is required and html of course it is required so we'll move forward and see how and what kind of question you know can be asked hey everyone welcome back uh, i am here uh, teeny tiny in this side so uh, as you can see my screen uh, We'll be discussing browser coding round about browser coding round uh, as we have already talked about what is browser coding round in the first part of the video. So in this video, we are going to see some samples, uh, some question samples that could be part of a browser coding round. So the differentiation between machine coding and browser coding is very, very small. It could be same as well sometimes, right? But in this series, as we have talked, we'll be differentiating them, right? So this is for browser coding. So now I have three examples for you uh, where we'll be seeing what type of components usually given to build so this is my figma usually what will happen you will be given a random statement or random component either it will be a random statement then build this and you have to think about everything like colors visual design layouting and everything but sometimes what happens will be given a visual elements as well like visual uh, screenshot or visual like you know design as well so i have created three uh, you know exercise for you so first one is this particular so in this could be a question in browser coding route so you will giving given a you know this search bar and you just search and it will auto complete for example if i search ms 
by the way any ms dhoni fan here right no ms dhoni in the comment section so if you search ms see this black bold ms is highlighted and you can swing this ms dhoni full uh, because this ms consists in this particular uh word i hope like you got that right so if you search anything other like if that exists in the list we show that in this uh you know drop down from where we can select so this is the statement right and this is how it will be given to you you have to come with entire thing sometime what will happen is you will be get getting a you know a boilerplate code from beginning and you will you have to build on top of that but here everything will be from scratch so coming to the environment sometimes what will happen you will be told to you know set up a local developer environment on your own and interview will come and we will start coding sometimes what will happen there will be online environment like code sandbox or stack builds or code pen or any other co uh, environment where you can write html css and javascript or any other uh, javascript framework using right so you write there and it will be reflected uh, the output will be reflected there and there so we'll be using code sandbox for this series uh because i i love that editor and that that works really great so let's move on to the code sandbox directly for this particular exercise so let me go there uh as you can see uh i have three things here right now what will happen is the end goal will be like this you search a creator and you get that right so whatever you have typed here if it matches it it becomes bold and whenever you select it comes here right so this is you will be told to build right and you have to come with the entire structure first thing first uh you'll be starting the you know uh coding first you have to clarify the requirements don't just directly jump onto a code and start writing the code first clarifying everything first clarify everything whatever you have doubt about because this will be mostly you know 45 minutes or one hour round where you have to build the entire thing so just clarify and you know get the requirements and you know or have a you know a agreement between you and interviewer that we are going to build this at the end of this one hour so later on like you know you don't miss anything so list them down what you are going to build clear the expectation then move on the coding start with the layouting or whatever you like like if you are coding in front end you would be like you know familiar with building this simple component but the main question is even this complex components are simpler uh, there will be most edge cases that you need to you need to handle and you have to write your code in such a way that you can extend that right for example for this component uh, what we have done we have written the html code and we have written the javascript code as well right so most of the thing that you have to focus here is uh, how you are writing your function how you are naming the function you know how you are binding that function to html and how modular code you are writing so uh for example uh if you're writing a code and later on interviewer tells no you have to extend this to something else for example for this browser coding round right so once you are given for example you have built uh build this component where you select and it comes here then after that what will happen is you have to also address the edge cases as well right edge cases like you know for example for example you are building this for every for example uh this particular data is not hard coded it might be coming from an api right so you have to write that um, method as well for fetching data and everything so the edge cases for this would be implement javascript concept like you know debouncing or throttling and things like that so you have to think about it in the search box what is used and you have to implement that as well for as a edge case first concentrate on building the core fundamental features uh keep it, uh, make, to make it working then focus on other things so the main point is once you have everything uh you could be given a edge case like you know if interviewer could ask like if this data is not hard coded and it is coming from api how would you do that the answer would be you implement something like debouncing right and for every keystroke you don't fire the api call method for you you wait for a certain period of time before firing another api call so that could be optimization right next uh, next thing you might get in this question is you know for example i have searched something how would you cache that for example or you know store in local storage so whichever you know 
have recently searched you know that brought bring that from the local storage and uh, so here instead of making an api call so that could be an extended question to that so this component look very simple you can build that in just you know 30 to 40 minutes or 45 minutes fully working but the its cases that is asked uh, from the interviewer is the difficult one so you have to make sure that you write everything very in a proper way that could be extensible or you know expanded to other features as well right so this was a uh, first one that could be a uh, uh, you know browser coding round question but don't worry these things will be preparing in the second part of the series that is a preparation and you know studying material where we will be seeing so just stay tuned with this series we'll be doing everything every sort of thing this is just example that i am showing so next example we'll move on uh, to browser coding round 2 so you'll be given something like this where you will have an image and you can click on it and basically building a corrosal so you you click on it it goes to next image you click on it it goes to next image and this dot as well you know comes next to next right so let's go to our code sandbox so as you can see this is what i built and it is working so as you can see you click on this and it goes to next you know you can you, you see this as well so if i click back it comes here if i click back it comes here like this so and description is shown and uh, image is shown just like you know our design is so once you implement this suppose you are working out here so for this as well we have a uh, template where you have hard coded every value right so you will probably told to not to hard code the first thing uh, this is just for demonstration purpose that's why we are hard coded but uh, let's say you have hard coded you write the javascript and everything right so again it is a very simple thing you could build that in 30 to 45 minutes but the next thing is again you know uh, handling the edge cases how would you handle the edge cases right edge cases uh, here could be you know handling the name points for example uh, if you have clicked here and it is at the last you click on it it goes to the first right so this thing could be the edge case uh, for example for example hovering over it so the tool tip or for example uh, so two, two images at once in at one go if i click on here i get two images i click on here i get two images next thing could be if you see we have hard coded this particular elements right hard coded this particular uh, images these images so for example uh, the next extension could be this images link could be given to you that would be coming from uh, api and what you have to do is you have to you know map through that json or array of objects that you are getting with the link and you have to you know you have to generate this images and div tags and everything then you have to put that you can do in the js right so again that calling api concepts comes in there as well and how you're handling the dom and manipulating the dom right so edge cases is again important here right let's move on to the third one uh, that could be given so this is very common like you know uh, this could be expanded to this is a directory structure so you'd be giving a json and you have to create something like this so it could be expanded with the comment section as well if you have seen the facebook's comment box right a photo is there and you comment down and whatnot. so it's like a next tree structure so it could be similar to this only right you will be given a json and you have to you know build this something like this so let's move again to our code sandbox so for example we have a json like this where we have everything right and we have wrote, written a function that generates this right so let's me go here and it generates this for example and if you see uh, this files is here again we have children's then inside it this is there so it is a nested tree kind of structure and it is generated at the end like this so this is working code right so don't worry we'll be seeing all of this in the preparation material we'll, we'll be coding this and seeing how to you know build this actually right but the main thing is note to here this is very general question and this is you know very you know most important question in the browser coding around that generally asks in the variety like they would say you know implement a comment nested comments or you know where there is input and you can insert and that will be added out here inside this so this could be extended to the comment as well right again here would be a edge case right for example uh, if you hover over it it shows the tool tip here that increase the accessibility right there could be uh, icon for example if you go to vs code if it is js file it say shows a js logo here if you if it is html file it shows the html logo here so that could be an extended question to this interview code asks 
there could be expanded collapse for example if i click on it this particular select se uh, section would be collapsed and you will see an arrow here and you will see an arrow here if this is collapsed right so that could be extended to this but this is how your you know browser coding round would look like so again let's type to the code we have a uh, you know array of objects which have every details out there uh, we have a function make tree that makes that tree uh, we have folder so whichever we have folder we we are just displaying this particular thing so folder would come folder which are folder will come uh, here with this icon and whichever our file will come here with this icon so this is also one you know s case that differentiate into could tell like you know uh, this would be the file name and this would be the folder this is how folder looks this is how file looks right so main focus is you know building this components is not a big deal uh, if you are practicing you are coding every day in front end you could easily you know build this component in 30 to 45 minutes or you know uh, 45 minutes to one hour but the main thing is how clean code you are writing how extensible code you are writing for example if you are writing a function if interviewer give some other scenario or other cases would you be able to do that that is the uh, main question and main scenario would be able to take up that right that is the main again main concern right so main thing is uh, understanding the question well uh, the tips and tricks understanding the question well first give five minutes to understand and clarify everything once you have clarified have agreement between you and your interviewer that this is what i am gonna build in the entire uh, section right if the if the requirements are concrete sometime you will get requirements concrete like this is this is things we are not built and that's it so their question section you know decreases a bit you ask clarify question what you have and you move on but when there is a vague very build auto complete for example like this so you have to ask a lot of question right how the editor is coming how would be showing if you select some item what happens and things like that so this is how it works and this is a tips and trick ask clarifying question get clarified then start and move on and for practicing this don't worry we'll be coming in the second part we'll be coding this entirely from scratch and we'll see how these things work right so don't worry this all be uh, will be coming in the series so hit the subscribe button and like button and share this video with your friends so for preparing this i would suggest uh, go to dribble or vihans select you know some simple components the design of it bring that design you know and build it with html css and javascript there is no other way out right apart from that what you could do is you could go to code pen and you know uh, go to code pen and search for you know go to the discover section and see various component that people have built try to replicate that try to build it again so this is how we practice the browser coding round right but the that the preparation material i'll surely bring that i have also have a website that i am preparing where I, I list down any question that i get in the front end uh, space right so that will take some time but for now this is it and i hope you have liked this video and you got something to learn about browser coding round next we'll be understanding our machine coding round and js coding round as well but till then stay tuned i really appreciate if you share this video and you hit that like button and stay tuned Thank you so much for watching this.